Hey, everybody. It's Susan Lynn, Psychic Comedian. Thanks so much for checking out my video today. Genuinely appreciate you here. So today I want to just check in with you. It is June 5th, and we are on the precipice of a flurry of Trump indictments. And I wanted to check in with you about that because there's some things I think you might want to know. And uh, the spirit guides are talking about uh, being triggered, <laughs> about how some of us may be triggered. And they're trying to just forewarn us, forearmed. And I think um, there could be some triggering moments for us. Let's get started. First of all, yes, I do see Trump getting an indictment this week or next week. It's interesting. One of the last question videos I did, uh, it just came out of my mouth uh, June 14th. Do you remember that? And somebody in the comments put it's flag day. And then somebody else put in the comments that it's Trump's birthday. Um, maybe there's some energy around June 14th. I do feel energy coming this week. I feel like it could gain steam and come this week, but I'm getting a little bit more energy that it's next week, this week, next week. It's soon, right? Timing is super hard to do with this type of thing because, well, Jack Smith has free will. Garland has free will. Um, there's a number of players here that have input that, that are helping uh, make these decisions or having input on these decisions. So and we, I just can't really go into all of those players and their own motives, right? So, but the energy suggests that he could be indicted this week, but if not this week, definitely next week. There is energy around the 14th. I don't think it's because it's his birthday, and I don't think it's because it's flag day. I think there's energy for some other reason around that date. Now, the thing that might trigger you is that there's some sources saying that he may be offered a plea deal. All right, everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> Call 1-800-SPIRIT-GUIDES, press 1 for complaints, whatever you have to do. Here's the thing. I can see, I, I can actually see that happening and it it's maddening and it's frustrating. I don't think it's going to happen, but I can see them offering it to him. Now, why would they offer him that? Well, because they offer everybody a plea deal, right? I mean, that's part of the process. The DOJ takes this very seriously. This is an ex-president of the United States. This is unprecedented. Of course, the crimes are unprecedented. I get it. I get it. Don't yell at me. I'm just the messenger. But they will potentially offer him a plea deal. But I think this is part of a bigger strategy that we should be aware of, that, that we should try to sit back, not be triggered, and see the bigger strategy here, because I think there is one. Let's say they offer him a plea deal. First of all, I don't think he's going to take it. This guy has never admitted anything in ever. Please point out in the comments something this guy has ever admitted that he's done. I mean, we're all going to grow really old waiting for that to happen. So I don't, I don't think he's going to accept the terms of the plea deal, which I think will be admit that you're guilty publicly. And I think if there's any kind of plea deal, it's done in for maybe one set of charges. Again, there's a bigger thing happening here, right? The DOJ has not just one set of or one investigation or one set of charges. They've got multiple things happening at once. There will be multiple charges from the DOJ, maybe not all this week or next week. So if he if he wants to cop a, a flea deal, a flea deal, <laughs> I mean, it's a flea bath. If he wants to cop a plea deal on this one set of charges, then fine. It, there's so many more coming at him. Th this, he's not going to get off. Okay. He's, he's not going to get off. We just told you about the, the debt ceiling. We were correct about the debt ceiling. Currently, Russia is falling apart from the inside out. They told you that they were counting coup. Remember? Counting coup in Russia. Well, attacks are still happening 
on Russian soil, so much so now that they're all fighting each other. I mean, the Russian army's fighting the mercenaries and everybody doesn't know which way's up. So the guides have been pretty correct about a lot of things. I think that we can trust them about this too. I wouldn't worry about it. I, I wouldn't get triggered about a plea deal. He's not going to get off because the only way that we can get to the end result, which is what I've seen all along, is Trump is contained. You know, whether that's in a in a padded room and a gitmo like facility, or whether that's six feet under the ground or his ashes on Ivanka's uh, you know, you know, mantle. I don't care. I don't care how we get there. But we do get there because to get through all of the things that we need to get through that I've seen the ending of, we have to contain him because if he's not contained, he's actively working against the United States democracy, which we're all about to see with the charges that are going to start flying towards him. So the guides also talk to you, remember about, and I'm not a boxer, I'm not into boxing, but they use this analogy of the body blows, right? Remember that? They talked about how um, there would be one blow and another blow and one blow and another blow. And in this way, they were just going to wear him down. They were going to take him out one blow at a time. And I think it's interesting because I was kind of, you might call it complaining to my spirit guides about this because I thought, let's just KO, knock him out, right? Let's do this. Let's Stop dragging this along. We're all tired. We all want a resolution. We all want to go back to some sense of normalcy without being, you know, feeling like our democracy is constantly under attack. And the guides, th this was really not anybody's choice, but the DOJ and Garland and Smith. And this is apparently the route that they've decided to take is a series of punches, a series of blows to Trump for whatever reason. And, and, you know, I'm sure they have good reasons. This is the route. This is the direction they want to take. Now, what they did tell me, which I thought was really funny, and I it makes sense, right, is let's not think of them as boxing or blows. Let's think of it as tenderizing. Um, so, you know, you would beat, you know, hamburger steak, whatever it was, you know, even whatever meat to tenderize it, right? So, they're like, we're just tenderizing Trump so that he's going to be easier to eat later, you know? So I thought that was funny, uh, kind of a, a helpful thing that they said to me to get me to be untriggered, right? This whole thing is about don't be triggered. Don't let them trigger you because this whole summer could be a series of ups and downs. And if you're just, again, they've told you guys this a lot, right? If you're doing that, you're on the, you're on the roller coaster. And that's, maybe fun for like what a minute or two but to spend a whole summer on a roller coaster is going to be just horrible so let's not get on the roller coaster let's step back let's try to not be triggered let's look at the bigger picture let's wait it out and see what happens because honestly we're not there yet we're at the beginning of this legal process we're not nowhere near the middle or the end of it. We're at the beginning of it. Now, what I would say that I think is going to be really um, helpful and, and true, the guides are reminding me. I mean, they said Trump was going to get indicted. He was going to get go to court, be indicted in March. And that that happened. Right. Um, they've said June. This is happening. They've also talked about September being a hot month for uh, Trump. I personally think that he's going to get an indictment almost every month all summer long. So that's going to be a lot going on and a lot of unsettled energy for our country, right? That could look like someone's picking on him over and over again instead of just getting it done. But that's that's where we are. That's apparently how they're going to proceed. Now, the thing is, is that, and it's, again, just like what the guides said, with the people all lined up in front of Trump, if you recall, right, and something else they said, they, they're reminding me that, you know, there was E. Jean Carroll and Tish James and Fonnie Willis and Alvin Bragg 
you know, and all these people lined up and they've all got their sights set on Trump. And then the DOJ comes over, reaches over them and grabs Trump and says, no, he's mine. Remember that? They said that for a long time. Well, here we are. Fonnie Willis has moved her target date to August and we see that Smith is stepping forward and going first. So everything the guides have said is starting to fall into place. In my opinion, this is the timeline. We're finally on the timeline. They've been saying this for a year, but we're finally on the timeline. The other thing they were reminding me, remember for you viewers that have been with me a long time, they said 100 archers, 100 people with arrows, shoot their arrows. 95 miss. That was to prayer to prepare us for a lot of missed opportunities. 95 miss. Four strike their target, right? The remaining five or four strike their target. So here we are, right? We we, we have the arrows, right? We have Garland or Smith. We have Tish James. She's not done yet. We have Alvin Bragg. He's not done yet. We have Fonnie Willis, not done yet. E. Jean Carroll is done, but I do think she'll probably get some more money added to her case. She had a case that was still open and Trump continued to defame her. And so I think she will get some more money. So in that way, she's not done either. There's your arrows. They're all lined up. These are the arrows that take him out. We are on the timeline. Everything is coming together just as they said it would. Um, so I don't really think there's anything to worry about here. And the other thing that I would say is that when I look at the energy and I see Smith and I see Garland going after Trump and, and, and going after the crimes, right? They're not going after him. They're going after the, the crimes that are on the books that have been broken and there will be indictments. And then Trump gets his day in court. He gets his opportunity to defend himself. This is the United States of America, right? So he's going to get his chance to defend himself. But while that's going on, and I do think that that is going to be hustled up, I don't see this all taking place. I don't see this timeline for Trump's eventual containment taking years. Because we can't, democracy is not going to last, okay? So that doesn't make sense to me. They showed me how it ends. I believe them because they've been right about everything else. And it ends with democracy staying intact. It ends with more bipartisanship between Republicans and Democrats next year. And it ends with Biden, with Democrats in the, in the presidency and in the House and the Senate. So we're not going to get to that ending if Trump is still running around trying to, you know, ruin our democracy. So I feel like this timeline is going to be hustled up. I think that the judge, I think everybody knows it's in our best interest to get this through the court system as fast as possible, right? So I think that um, Smith... Smith may, they're, they're really, I just can't figure it out, but there really is a bigger, there's a bigger strategy here. I wouldn't underestimate them. If they give him a plea deal, they have a reason for it. They're setting him up. This is not them rolling over. It's not. Because that made me mad. <laughs> and and the guides are telling me this is not, none of this is anybody rolling over. Whatever happens has real intention behind it, real strategy behind it. Again, I don't think Trump is going to take the plea deal, but if they offer it to him, there's strategy behind it, okay? So the other thing I would say to you is Fonnie Willis is bringing it in August. So whatever whatever Smith does, and it's not going to be small potatoes. It's it's going to be big deals. It's, it's going to be well-crafted, uh, iron-tight, air-tight, cases against Trump and his cronies. But whatever he does, I feel like Fonnie Willis could even be the, the game ender. 
I feel like calling her the sleeper because I feel like she's going to put Trump to sleep. I think she's going to take him out. Right. Um, so and, and remember when the spirit guides were saying that Atlanta was going to be ground zero. Remember that? And I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, I, I don't know why. They just keep saying Atlanta is going to be ground zero. I didn't know if it was unrest. I didn't know what the problem was. And I didn't really know the timeline. Well, here we are. I think Fonnie Willis is ground zero. Atlanta is ground zero for Trump. She's going to be the one that's really going to take out the most people and the one I think that's going to put him to sleep. Now, Trump does not believe that he's going to pay a price, right? I mean, when you go into his energy, he believes he's going to get off on all of this stuff, right? Because frankly, people like him never get held accountable. And certainly in our history, in this way, we've never held a president and ex-president accountable. So he just thinks, he just thinks, and he also thinks that he's smarter than everybody else. So he thinks he's going to get off. He's not worried about this. He's really more worried about DeSantis. He's more worried about Pence. He's more worried about losing his his leadership of the Republican Party, because he believes that if he can go, if he can run the clock out, then he can be the Republican nominee. And then the DOJ won't be able to really do anything to him because then it'll look like they're attacking the Republican nominee, right? I mean, they attacked the Democratic nominee, but nobody cared. But anyway, that's okay. That's it is true. There seems to be uh, two sets of rules. But he's wrong. They're going to allow him to think that they don't even care what he thinks. I mean, they just don't care. When you go into Jack Smith's energy, he doesn't care. Trump is inconsequential to him. So, which, which is kind of funny, which it feels kind of good, to be honest with you. But when I go into Trump's energy, by the time he realizes that this is really going down and that he's really more than likely you're going to be held accountable. And I mean accountable as in taken out of commission. Now, I've never seen Trump behind bars. I've never seen Trump in jail ever, 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 not even for five seconds. I have seen him in a white room that maybe the walls are padded. I don't know. But the security on this place is, is Gitmo level security. And he's by himself. I've always said that. I've said this since 2020, at least. The guides have been saying this. They, you can go all the way back and see the same description, the same sort of residential um, nursing home slash, you know, insanity hotel place kind of looking place, right? I don't see anybody else with him. He's by himself. He doesn't really get visitors. He's not able to communicate. This is what we have to do. Because if he's communicating, he's doing things that could potentially harm our democracy based on what we've seen, allegedly. Okay. So I feel like backing up just a minute that when Trump realizes that this is it, like, and I think he realizes it by the look in his daughter's face. I feel like he he has that moment where reality really just cold, hard reality smacks him right in the face that she's known all along and that she's sorry, but there's nothing she can do about it. And you're going down, daddy. That that's the moment that he has the reality hit him. I don't know why this is going out of focus. I'm sorry. Um, but when he realizes that, it's very possible that he could flee. It's very possible that he could try to flee. I do not see him spending any length of time at all uh, or successfully fleeing from this country. You have to understand that um, he will be a wanted man. He will be a hunted man. He will have a price tag on his head. And you have to understand that America can't have that. We can't have our ex 
president, you know, hanging out in Argentina or something, you know, or in Saudi Arabia. We we can't have that. That's that that's egg on our face, right? We can't allow that. So um, at that point, we would send SEAL t- Team Six after him. I mean, we would need to get him back. Versus one of the things the guides did sh- show me, and this still may happen, is someone that looked like Arabic descent holding something, trying to give us something back. Remember that? The, the, they were trying to give, give it to Biden, and Biden is like, whoa, 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 you've got to go through diplomatic channels. I'm not, I'm not doing this. You need to go through diplomatic channels. So I wasn't sure if that was potentially maybe the Iran um, top secret documents that are missing, the the war documents about Iran that are missing, that perhaps that's why Saudi Arabia paid Jared all that money, right? Something is coming back to us and it's egg on our face because this guy's got a big smile on his face, like a really exaggerated smile. And he's like, oh, you're missing this little thing. See, it would be egg on America's face for all of that to be public. That's why we don't want it to be public. That's why we can't allow Trump to go running off and making a fool or a mockery of the United States, number one. Number two, if he ran off and he was unalived by somebody, that didn't like the United States as a way of attacking us, that could be war. I mean, even though he's a criminal, you can't kill or unalive a past president. So there's, this is liability time a million, this guy, right? So we need to contain him for all those reasons. And for those reasons, he cannot go to Rikers. He'll be criming out of Rikers. We all know that, right? Again, what if somebody knifes him because they've been paid by some country that doesn't, again, problems, problems, problems. The only way to deal with this problem is to lock him up, throw away the key, and don't let anybody have access to him. Now, the other way this could happen, energetically speaking, he can be contained in a room like the guides are describing, or he could be contained six feet underground, you know, like they said, or ashes on his daughter's mantle. I don't care uh, how he's contained. Uh, He may, you know, his old ticker with all those Big Macs just might not be able to cut it anymore. You never know, right? That's something that I've seen too, is some sort of heart attack or some kind of ischemic strokes. Um, these are all possibilities, but the bottom line is don't get triggered. If they offer him a plea deal, understand this is 5d chess. This isn't, these people are not country bumpkins. They didn't just follow off, fall off the turnip truck. And they're trying to take down an ex-president. They know what they're doing. They understand the stakes here. They understand all the players also involved. So try not to be triggered. Try to just wait it out and see the bigger picture. One charge is not everything. We're looking at multiple charges from Smith. We're looking at big charges from Fonnie Willis. I'm not sure, honestly, that Bragg is done. I'm not sure that Tish James is done. I think everybody has got an arrow in their quiver that they can still shoot. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share with you basically because I thought, well, if you guys start hearing about these plea deals, y'all are going to go just, you know, it it wouldn't be good. So I wanted to give you the heads up about that. And I wanted to give you the heads up about the indictments are coming. The indictments are coming, right? Uh, Get your popcorn, get whatever it is that you're going to celebrate with and celebrate because this is a long time coming and it really proves to Americans and to everyone, everyone on planet Earth, that if you're going to attack and commit treason or all the things that they may be bringing against him, you're going to be held accountable, right? He's going to be held accountable 
We will take care of this. We will get through this. Just don't ride on the roller coaster, right? Just stand on the ground and watch the whole thing from there, okay? Take really, really good care of yourself. I'll be back again because this is getting ready to get real spicy and real juicy, and you know the spirit guides will have something to say about it. So I'll see you again real soon right here. Take good care. For entertainment purposes only.